Who gives this woman to marry this man? Okay. <laughs> Who gives this woman to marry this man? Her mother, her family, and I. On behalf of Julie and Trevor, I'd like to welcome and thank everyone for being here today for today's ceremony. We have gathered here today to witness and celebrate Julie and Trevor's commitment to one another. Commitment, love, honor, loyalty, sharing. These are the hallmarks associated with marriage. I'd like to add another family, <coughs> excuse me, I'd like to add family as another hallmark. Today, Trevor and Julie begin their family. This is not a family of two, Generations of family now come together to build a bond. Generations of family that have built the foundation that Trevor and Julie will build from. Like much of life, strength is in the numbers. You two will receive advice, opinions, and life lessons from friends and family alike. From the baby boomers to Generation Z and everyone in between, there will be examples to learn from. My advice is to forge your own way. Learn from the experiences of others. Pick and choose from the collective whole and find a way that works for your family. <coughs> know this, there is no single way, no absolute. You will find what works for you and your family. This will evolve as your life together evolves. Another piece of guidance I have is to offer is avoiding the words always and never. There must be communication and compromise. Stay true to yourselves Make time for yourself. More importantly, make time for each other. Understand, there will be hard times, bumps in the road. However, the good times, the happy tears, and the precious moments will dwarf all else. Julie has prepared a reading she would now like to present to Trevor. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong, and full of love for you. They're holding yours on our wedding day as we promise to love each other tomorrow, today, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together we build our future. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years and will try and comfort you. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will pray with you for the rest of our days. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help hold our family as one. These are the hands that will try to give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that, even when wrinkled in age, will still be reaching for yours. This is the fifth wedding I have officiated. Preparing for each wedding has been difficult and different in their own unique ways. Today's challenge is trying to find the words to express to Trevor and Julie what it means to me to be a part of this. <laughs> to ensure this day is perfect for them and try to keep my composure while doing so. Mm -hmm. On December 12, 1990, I was a freshman at William Byrd High School. 
I was in seventh period Spanish class and I received a note from the office that my first niece was born, finally. <laughs> um, I agree. My life was forever changed. Since that day, I've been blessed with five nieces, a nephew, beautiful wife, and two kids. Oh. From afar, I've been fortunate enough to be a part of my My nieces and nephews love. I watch them grow into the young man and woman they have become. All the trips in, family vacations, and our trip to DC. Being a part of their lives has been a very important part of my life. Several months ago, I received a call from Julie. Asking me to part of their one of the most important days of their life. I cannot find the words to express to them what that phone call meant to me. Without hesitation, I told Julie I would be there for her today. In my 42 years, I've been a part of some special moments and I have some great stories. Today's story will forever be one of my favorites and one of my best. My first member, Julie, is holding her in the hospital. To this day, I can remember thinking how light Julie felt in my arms. I believe I could hold on to her forever and my arms would never get tired. Today's the day we must let go. My lasting memory now will be Julie, standing here before Trevor, ready to begin their life together. Trevor, welcome to the family. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, place the ring on Julie's finger and repeat after me. I, Trevor, take you, Julie, to be my wife, my partner and friend, to join my life with yours, to share with you all that is to be, to laugh with you in joy, to comfort you in sorrow, to grow with you in love. I will honor you and be faithful to you all the days of my life. This is my vow. Place the ring in Trevor's finger. I, Julie, take you, Trevor. I, Julie, take you, Trevor. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner and friend. My partner and friend. To join my life with yours. To join my life with yours. To share with you all that is to be. To share with you all that is to be. To laugh with you in joy. To laugh with you in joy. To comfort you in sorrow. To comfort you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. I will honor you. I will honor you. And be faithful to you. All these days of my life. All these days of my life. This is my vow. This is my vow. By the powers vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the County of Utah, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs>